Hi, good evening, everyone. Hi, Prithvi. How are you? Hello, Monica. Hello, ma'am, and everyone. Hi, everyone. Hello, Monica. You can call me Mama also because today we are talking about teachers and uh, you. I am not your teacher anymore. You have you have been certified now, and I am your mom. You can call me Mom also. That's fine. But a teacher always uh, is always a teacher. Ah, thank you, Rasmita. How are you, Monica? I am fine. How are you? I am doing well, thank you. And uh, today, uh, I would like to say very good evening to all of you, specifically to Prithvi and to others also who will be joining us in a while and who will be watching this recording once it gets uploaded as well. Today, um, as you know, that we are uh, working on a series named Personal Mastery, uh, which has the season one. Uh, this is the season one, which is relationships and you. And today we have episode four of relationships and you, which is all about teachers and you. And uh, uh, you know what? Uh, and this is for all, huh? because Monisha knows it. I I was discussing it with her today itself. Uh, when we were planning about these uh, seasons, so we thought that first season has to be uh, relationships and you, mm -hmm. and then we thought of the episodes. So when we were thinking of the episodes, so uh, the order that will we were keeping for these episodes were when the child takes birth and then so on, how he grows, how she grows, uh, what kind of relationships come in, in picture. Teachers and you was never in our list. Teachers and you was never in our list because we never thought. Uh, I would like to say I I I didn't pay it, pay much much attention to it that uh, teachers can be. uh or uh, teachers need to be covered in this or not but then later on as we were conceptualizing it as the episodes were unfolding we actually realized that teachers do play a huge part of uh motivating or demotivating role in how a person is shaped up and uh, to parents after our very close relationships of brothers and sisters which is siblings teachers also come into existence where either they are shaping up or maybe or maybe they are the difficult ones in our lives because of which you know some of us might have felt uh, ignored neglected etc and that was the reason we thought of that teachers and you has to be a part of this particular season of relationships and you so that that's the only uh, thing we are here with you because teachers and you is there i uh, i also would like to quote something here the best teachers are those who tell you where to look but they don't tell you what to look beautiful that's amazing absolutely best teachers are, are those always who do not tell you that look at this they will just show you guide you and rest you know they will keep your uh, horizons open they would actually expand your horizons of thinking as well perspective as well so that you can actually have some wide look around areas uh, and uh, you have you can have wider perspectives around things various perspectives around things as well so uh, before we begin with the exact concept and, and everything whatever we'll be talking today will be related to the concept of teachers and you so uh, monisha i'm sure that you must have gathered some questions from your teachers or from your uh, friends also uh, so before we get to that question answer thing uh, would you like to let us know uh, what are your thoughts around how is the student life how how are teachers around not only specific in general not only specific to you or your school but in general um here i have some thoughts and uh, it's also like our principal ma'am she also used to say like most of the times and uh, uh, she used to say that say that teachers jo guru hote hain wo ek samudra hote hain 
आप चम्मच लेकर जाओगे उतना ही आप लेकर आ पाओगे आप एक बकेट लेकर जाओगे बकेट भरकर ही नॉलेज ला पाओगे अगर आपको पूरा समुद्र चाहिए तो उसके लिए आपको उसमें डुबकी लगानी ही पड़ेगी वेरी डीप डुबकी लगानी भी पड़ेगी और ये गहरा भी बहुत है ये एक्चुअली में जो आपके प्रिंसिपल मैम बोलती हैं सो टू ऑल द व्यूअर्स हु विल बी वॉचिंग अर्स हु आर वॉचिंग अर्स लेट मी टेल यू दैट येस आई वॉज ऑल्सो स्कूल बाय मैनी टीचर्स बिकॉज आई एम आई एम अ पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट सो ऑब्वियसली मैंने स्कूलिंग किया है सो आई हैव ऑल्सो हैव अ स्टूडेंट लाइफ आई न्यू आई ऑलवेज न्यू दैट टीचर्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट इन अवर लाइफ बट वो इतना इम्पोर्टेंस मुझे लगता नहीं था आई नेवर गेव इट मच अ थॉट बट देन वेन माई चिल्ड्रेन वॉनिशा एंड शेव दे गॉट एडमिटेड इन दैट स्कूल वी गॉट दैम गॉट दैम दी एडमिशन इन स्कूल एंड आई वुड लव टू टेक द नेम ऑफ द स्कूल हॉल मार्क पब्लिक स्कूल विच इज इन पंचकुला सेक्टर फिफ्टीन आई मस्ट टेल ऑल ऑफ यू दिस स्कूल इज बेस्ड ऑन द फाउंडेशन ऑफ वैल्यूज कल्चर लव कंपैशन एथिक्स मॉरल्स and i've seen my both of my children monisha you you know monisha now because you have seen her in past few uh, live sessions i'm sure that with time i will definitely introduce shiv as well the way they have groomed my children i feel that more than uh, we take care of them they are taking care of our children this is what i believe this is what i feel and uh, the principal ma'am which she is talking about she is gem of a lady i actually always keep on telling monisha and shiv ki agar tumhari principal nahi hogi na school ki principal to main tumhara school badal dungi so you know, this is the kind of impact i feel that this lady uh, kavita vadwa has on the children on the entire atmosphere of the school and teachers and needless to say teachers are equally very loving and compassionate and encouraging also so uh, i feel that you know the kind of teachers you have got monisha uh, i feel blessed and fortunate that uh, we we selected this school uh, i'm a little bit proud as well hi isha good evening so good to see you so uh, uh, monisha i'm sure i know that you were asking me uh, yesterday only that mama aapke time pe kaise rehta tha school ka right would you like to ask that question clearly so that i can actually know what to answer i don't want to answer anything and everything uh yeah i really want to know that what type of teachers or schools you have because somewhere i have heard that they were like so strict that it helped you and some say that uh, they were not that like they were good but it was like a boring class just reading the chapters or something so what was actually uh, the teachers uh, which uh, uh, they were in your time okay thank you for asking and clarifying this question and um, while it's a question which takes me back to so many years i'm regressing actually back to उंड The only thing was, मैं अपनी छोटी सी समझ से अभी जो बता सकती हूँ the little understanding that I have, because I may be totally wrong, because it can be my perspective only, right? So uh, if I look at it now with my this little small perspective, what I can say is that उस टाइम पे ना जो पढ़ाने का तरीका था, it was not that evolved as I see today. in your school with your teachers or some other school with their teachers so i feel that in those days it was a very uh, monotonous way of teaching that was being practiced uh, yes there were few teachers jo bahut hi khoobsurti se interesting bana dete the subject ko i still remember one of my teachers when i was in 6th class i guess uh, monisha and her name was kamal बहुत छोटे टाइम के लिए शी वॉज अवर इंग्लिश टीचर बिकॉज आफ्टर दैट शी गॉट मैरिड सो शी हैड टू लीव द जॉब बट देन उस वन मंथ 
मंथ या टू मंथ्स में जो भी उन्होंने हमें सिखाया शी यूज टू टीचर्स दी वो कैबलरी शी यूज टू टीचर्स दी प्रोनाउंसिएशन सो जितना कुछ उन्होंने सिखाया शी यूज टू मेक इट सो सो इंटरेस्टिंग कि वो मुझे आज भी याद है और जैसा उन्होंने बोला था बिल्कुल एज इट इज वैसा ही याद है राइट सो आई स्टिल रिमेम्बर फोटोग्राफी फोटोग्राफी बोलते थे हम उस टाइम पे फोटोग्राफी बोला जाता था सो शी केम वन डे विद ऑल दैट और दैट शी हैड द ब्यूटिफुल लेडी एंड शी सेट टूडे वील डू वो कैबलरी एंड प्रोनाउंसिएशन सबसे पहले हम उठाएंगे एंड शी रोड दैट वर्ड फोटोग्राफी ऐसा ही बोलते थे एंड देन शी सेट की हाउ डू यू प्रोनाउंस इट so we all said photography photography we all kept on saying this and she said okay so now i will tell you how to pronounce it she says has anyone heard the songs of mohammad rafi so humne kaha yes we have heard the songs listen to the songs of mohammad rafi so she says photography ka jo rafi hai na usko rafi badal do make it rafi and photog so make it photography mohammad rafi ka Rafi, so you know this is how she taught us, and it is still in my head, so fresh. I can still see her standing right in front of me, podium के ऊपर, and she is writing it on the blackboard. हमारे टाइम पे blackboards होते थे, so वो चौक से लिख रही हैं, and वो ये बोल रही हैं, with a smile on her face. So you know, teachers have huge impact on our brains. But yes, there are certain teachers in my life also, Monisha, uh, जिनसे डर भी बहुत लगता था, और जिनसे डर इस बात का लगता था कि इंसल्ट हो जाएगी कुछ बोल देंगे क्लास में सबके सामने तो बेजती सी हो जाएगी एंड व्हेन आई से दिस आई डोंट वांट टू से कि वो ऐसी थी आई वाज इक्वली रिस्पॉन्सिबल आल्सो बिकॉज मे बी आई वाज नॉट अप टू द मार्क विद माय होमवर्क विद माय स्टडीज विद माय टेस्ट एंड एवरीथिंग हैविंग सेट दिस स्टिल यू नो आई यूज टू फील स्केर ऑफ यू टीचर्स बिकॉज आई आई थॉट दैट दे मे से समथिंग विच विल इंसल्ट इंसल्ट मी समथिंग लाइक दैट या तो ऐसा था द टीचर्स वी हैड नाउ दे वर आल्सो इन योर टाइम एज वेल बट द डिफरेंस इज जस्ट है दैट वी हैव नाउ इट्स ऑपोजिट नाउ वी आर हैविंग लाइक द टीम मोर टीचर्स मेक आर सब्जेक्ट्स एंड एवरीथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड समटाइम्स दे रीड आर माइंड्स आल्सो uh before or uh, like without anything <laughs> and uh, like now i have uh, I'm sorry out of excitement i'm saying something in between i have seen that how interesting your teachers make the classes because when i hear you telling me the story of history you know the way you narrate the entire history to me you know mama this happened and britishers came because of this then they said this to orange it's such a beautiful story telling now that i wonder that wow what kind of training this teacher must have got that she is making history subject so interesting for for the children so that's amazing i completely agree with you yeah please proceed i'm sorry i paced in between um yes like it's really very interesting and not only one subject for all the subjects uh, right now and but still like we are students so we uh, i just have a few questions this time not uh, that much because uh, uh we have very good teachers the one like and i have collected them from my friends uh from my surroundings and school as well uh but the first question which i have uh, on my notebook uh, it says that uh how to tell a teacher a query that you are having and you are scared of the teacher you are scared of the teacher or uh, or you feel that the query is such that it that teacher will not listen to that query what is it out of these two or is it both <laughs> so it's like uh, she will answer and then she will answer it would be uh, clear or uh, it would be very much clear but still like uh, we are afraid that we will ask and then she first ask us that first tell this and then for that reasons we stop it and ask each other and uh, all that uh, stuff uh, like it's it's basically that we are scared of the teacher because like she's very strict and she will then say that uh, uh, you have not come uh, that you first you tell me that yahan se yahan yahan se wahan then no you can then come to that answer or sometimes it gets uh, left there only the doubt is not cleared also sometimes so how to ask the question uh, from a teacher to from whom we are scared i think that this question has come from bhavan vidyalaya's student 
because I had a uh, few of the students who were coming to me for uh, counseling. So, okay. So, uh, in case if you are scared of uh, the teacher and you are scared to ask the query also. So, in that case, first of all, we need to, there are, there are various perspectives to it. So, we will cover all of them, right? The very first thing is, that if you are scared of that teacher, why you are, uh, why why you want to ask the query? Uh, first of all, you need to check if you have listened to what she was saying properly. This is the major check that you have to do. Right? Whether you have listened it properly or not. So if you have listened properly, if you have listened to what she was saying properly, then go to her and you'll say that then you can actually tell her that this is the area out of this entire thing that you have shared with us, ma'am. This is the area where I'm finding it difficult to understand. Can would you be able to repeat? And you know, pay attention to my words. Would you be able to repeat? Not can you repeat? Can you repeat is a very challenging statement. Right? But would you be able to repeat is a very understanding statement. Ki aap rahe ho ki kya wo is pe sakti hai ki nahi. So this is the first perspective. If you have listened everything properly and then you found that itne mein se na, itna area hai which I don't understand, ya difficulty ho rahi, so then you can easily ask her using this eloquence. The second scenario is that you have not paid attention. Aapne attention hi nahi mind wander kar jata hai, mind jumps somewhere else. So, in the flow, mein the teacher ne, uh, topic complete kar gaya. Uske baad ab aapko hai ki to samajh nahi aaya, mere ko puchna hai. So, in that case, again, the major thing that you need to take care of is of your eloquence. And last session also, we spoke about eloquence. Like you have to say things in a way which are music to ears to the other person. Right. So then you will use your eloquence by going to your teacher very respectfully. You can tell her that, ma'am, uh, uh, while when you were sharing this topic, it, it was a very insightful topic. Uh, in few of the places, I got disconnected from the flow which was going on. In few of the places, I got disconnected with the flow that was going on. And that is why, you know, now when I look back at it, I feel that I am confused. Uh, I need your guidance on this. I need your guidance on this or I need your support on this. Right. So this is how you can present your view of asking a query from your teacher. Problem is what happens ki jo bachche hain, ya we students. Hi Daljeet, good evening. Thank you for joining. What happens is we students, we start thinking ki ye to teacher ka farz hai. You know, it's teacher's duty to answer our query. Hum aisa nahi soch sakte. If, if I'm a student, I will not think like that, that and I do not have to think like this. Because teacher ki duty kyun hai? Teacher ki duty ki class mein samjhane ki. Humko samaj nahi aya, to hum pyaar se respectfully and eloquently poochhenge. Right? So, in case if you are scared of a teacher, this means that maybe you are not putting across your point in a proper way, in a respectful and eloquent way. And you know, Monisha, that in every program that I do, whether it is leadership, train the trainer, NLP, hypnotherapy, confidence building, public speaking, I always cover this part of eloquent speaking. So... You know about eloquent speaking, but people who do not know about eloquent speaking, eloquent speaking is that you first understand the other person. You say something which tells the other person that you are understanding that person. After that, you convey your point. This is how it happens, right? So, ma'am, whatever you have taught, it was very insightful. In few of the parts, I got disconnected with the flow and now I am confused. Um, would you be able to help me with this? I would require your support in this complete understanding. This way you will convey your query to them. Does it answer the query, Monisha? 
Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. I'll just uh, say the same to my friend, oh. like the one who asked me this question. Uh, I have one more. Like, if a teacher, like uh, we are now in big, uh, like very high, uh, like high classes, like tenth or eleventh. Oh. So of course the homework is uh, more or revision because we have to do self study as well for the board exams. Uh, so the teacher herself or himself has said us that whenever you feel that your homework is more, just tell us, uh, tell me, I will reduce the homework. But still, uh, on that particular day when uh, she gives us the so like so many homework, and uh, her mood is not good because the children, uh, the rest of the children, they have not answered the questions correctly. So now she is in a bit angry mood, and at that time we want to tell her that, uh, "Ma'am, please reduce some homework because it's a bit too much. We have other subjects also." So how to tell her those things which she has already told us that you may tell whenever you feel like. Hmm. Very interesting question. I would love to answer it. Hi, Mana. Thank you for joining in. Before I answer it, Monisha, uh, let me know if you have any. idea about it huh uh, let me know that when children say that ma'am reduce the homework how were they saying it can you tell me the tone the exact words used the statement used is it possible for you uh, yes like, like uh, the friend who told me she said that we say that ma'am we also have the other subjects homework please reduce a bit uh, we want uh, give like so uh, we will not be able to do that we have this also then we have to, i have to go today uh, tomorrow we have a test of history and there are so like it's a very big chapter these types of things they uh, say to their teachers mm -hmm. so answer lies in this entire explanation monisha uh just imagine that uh, just imagine that you are uh, your maid ha huh? your maid comes to your house and she says ki aaj mere se bartan mat dhulwao kyunki mujhe na unke ghar mein ja kar zyada bartan dhone hain how will you feel what will like you? it will be like that i am paying uh to you for my house not for their house right so the same is the feeling that teacher will also get the example is totally opposite ha huh? teachers hai aur yahan pe hum ek uh, household work ki baat kar rahe hain but the feeling will come the feeling that will come will remain the same hi sabia thank you for joining in a very warm welcome so now what your teacher will think ki मैं भी तो पढ़ा रही हूँ तो मेरा सब्जेक्ट इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं है माय सब्जेक्ट इज नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर देम अदर सब्जेक्ट्स आर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर देम दिस इज द फीलिंग दैट योर फ्रेंड्स आर गिविंग टू योर टीचर विद दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स एज आई से एलोक्वेंस इज द पावरफुल टूल टू हैंडल एनीथिंग एंड एवरीथिंग इन लाइफ सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज दैट we have to convey this point eloquently hi sachin good evening so good to see you thank you for joining in what will we do in this case coming back to this situation monisha that you have shared what will we do in this case is ki humko homework kam karana hai ya hame batana hai ki ye bahut zyada homework ho gaya right either to aap kam karwaoge ab is homework kam karana is not the outcome that you want aapko apna burden kam karwana hai na aapke friends ko so अगर आपका आउटकम है कि बर्डन थोड़ा सा कम हो जाए क्योंकि बहुत सारा काम है तो आप उस होमवर्क को कंप्लीट करने के जो ड्यूरेशन है वो भी तो एक्सटेंड करा सकते हो है ना तो मतलब कम कराने की जगह उतना ही रहने दो दो दिन बाद उसको बोलो आप कन्वे कर सकते हो राइट पर अब ये कन्वे कैसे करना है दिस इज द रियल गेम इज हाउ डू वी कन्वे इट अगेन एलोक्वेंटली दैट वी टेल द मैम एंड आई एम शेयरिंग विद यू वन ऑफ द वेज एलोक्वेंस से आपको एन नंबर ऑफ वेज मिलते हैं किसी भी बात को कम्युनिकेट करने के बट मैं आपको सिर्फ एक एग्जांपल दे रही हूँ कि जैसे यू आर माय टीचर एंड आई वांट कि आप थोड़ा होमवर्क कम करो क्योंकि बहुत सारा काम है ऐसा और एक गलती मेरी तरफ से भी है कि आपने जो मुझे याद करने को बोला था वो मैंने याद भी नहीं किया है ना मतलब परफॉर्मेंस अच्छी भी नहीं आई है राइट सो वट आई कैन डू मैं अपने अपनी लो परफॉर्मेंस को भूल नहीं सकती हूँ 
रिक्वेस्ट करते हुए राइट सो आई विल गो टू माई टीचर और मे बी आई एम सिटिंग ऑन माई सीट एंड आई आस्क माई टीचर दैट मैम वी आर रेली सॉरी कि आज आपके एक्सपेक्टेशन के अकॉर्डिंग हम लर्न करके नहीं आ पाए ये बोलना ही है बिकॉज हम इस हैपनिंग को कैसे भूल सकते हैं उनका मूड क्यों खराब है शी इज नॉट मैड दैट शी इज एंग्री ऑन अस है ना वी डेंट लर्न वी डेंट perform well in the test that is the reason she is angry or she is upset so first we have to feel apologetic or sorry for that particular thing teacher hai guru hai hamari usi se sorry mang sakte hain aur kisse mangenge baaki to tum mangte bhi nahi hai right so we we tell the teacher that ma'am we are really sorry that today we didn't we were not we didn't nahi we were not able to perform well as per your expectations and we are feeling very bad about it यस हम वी नो कि ये कहना गलत होगा पर फिर भी हम आपको बताना चाहेंगे कि क्योंकि बहुत प्रेशर भी था बाकी सब्जेक्ट्स का भी तो शायद इस वजह से प्रॉपर प्रेपरेशन नहीं हो पाई पर ये एक्सक्यूज जो है बट ये एक्सक्यूज नहीं हम देना चाहते अपनी लो परफॉर्मेंस के लिए एंड मैम अनदर थिंग दैट वी वुड लाइक टू से कि हम बिल्कुल प्रिपेयर करेंगे नेक्स्ट टाइम से जो भी टेस्ट होगा यू विल फाइंड अश्योर हर यू विल फाइंड दैट वी विल स्कोर रियली वेल इन साइंस सब्जेक्ट और इन मैथ सब्जेक्ट और इन इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट जो भी सब्जेक्ट की आपकी टीचर है या पंजाबी आर्ट्स वट एवर वी विल प्रिपेयर रियली वेल एंड स्कोर वेल अभी ये जो होमवर्क आपने दिया है इट दिस इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और वैल्यूएबल मतलब इस इस होमवर्क से हमें बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिल जाएगा दी ओनली थिंग इज बट नहीं बोलना है बट वर्ड यूज नहीं करना है यू विल से द ओनली थिंग इज मैम कि हमें बाकी सब्जेक्ट के भी बहुत सारे होमवर्क मिले हैं तो प्लीज लेट अस नो वी वांट टू कंप्लीट इट विद फुल डेडिकेशन प्लीज लेट लेट अस नो कि वट इज द अप्रोप्रिएट वे टू डू दैट मे बी वी आर नॉट एबल टू फाइंड इट आप सोल्यूशन नहीं दे सकते कि होमवर्क कम करो आप उनसे गाइडेंस ले सकते हो वो बताएंगी और जब आप इस तरह से बात को रखोगे ना उनका पेन एरिया समझ रहे रिमेम्बर एलोक्स मतलब आप सामने वाले को समझते हो तो अभी वो पेन में है कि मेरे बच्चे मेरे सब्जेक्ट का टेस्ट क्लियर नहीं करे हैं है ना उन्होंने आंसर अच्छे से नहीं दिए हैं तो शी इज इन पेन पहले आप उस पेन को एड्रेस करोगे आप सीधा अपना पेन नहीं बताओगे कि अरे मेरे को होमवर्क ज्यादा मिल गया यू कैन नॉट डू दैट क्योंकि फिर तो उनको यू नो आप फिर वो कहते हैं ना जले पे नमक छिड़कना फिर तो वो चीज हो जाएगी राइट यू डोंट डू वी डू नॉट हैव टू डू दैट पहले आप उनको मरहम लगाओ ऑइंटमेंट लगाओ जेन्युनली रिमेम्बर एलोक्वेंस तभी काम करता है जब आप जेन्युन होते हो अगर आप ऐसा ऊपर ऊपर से स्मार्ट बनोगे ना और आप फील नहीं कर रहे हो जो आप बोल रहे हो तो फिर आपकी मैम नहीं समझेंगी वो समझ ही नहीं पाएंगी क्योंकि आपने समझाया भी नहीं सो यू हैव टू बी रियली जेन्युन बाय सेइंग दिस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड हर पेन एरिया अड्रेस दैट पेन एरिया अश्योर हर दैट दिस पेन यू विल नॉट गिव हर अगेन एंड देट शेयर योर पेन एरिया रिमेम्बर आई एम सेंग शेयर टेल नहीं करना है शेयर करना है आप अपने से बड़ों के साथ शेयर कर सकते हो बता नहीं सकते क्योंकि वो अहदा उनका है बताएंगे वो हम तो शेयर ही कर सकते हैं क्योंकि वो हमसे बड़े हैं राइट सो शेयर योर पेन एरिया विद विद योर मैम एंड रिक्वेस्ट हर गाइडेंस कि मैम कैसे करें प्लीज हेल्प अस और फिर वो जो भी बोलती हैं एक्सेप्ट राइट आई एम श्योर कि हो सकता है जब आप ये आंसर या आपके फ्रेंड्स अगर सुन भी रहे होंगे अभी इस लाइफ में तो वो सोचेंगे ऐसे थोड़ा ना तो फिर तो वो बोलेंगी होमवर्क कर लो वो बोलेंगी बाद में देखना पहले आप इस प्रोसेस को करके दिखाओ उनका पेन एरिया समझो उनके पेन एरिया को एड्रेस करो उनको अश्योर करो अपना पेन एरिया शेयर करो और उनकी गाइडेंस लो पांच स्टेप फॉर्मूला है अंडरस्टैंड हर पेन एरिया राइट एड्रेस हर पेन एरिया अश्योर दैट दिस पेन विल नॉट बी गिवेन टू हर अगेन शेयर Your pain area and seek her guidance. ये पूरा प्रोसेस फॉलो करो आई गारंटी कि आपको उनसे जरूर सपोर्ट मिलेगा टीचर्स आर नॉट डेवल्स दे आर दे आर वेरी लविंग पीपल उनको क्या चाहिए 
उनको यही चाहिए ना कि हम पढ़कर आए और टेस्ट क्लियर कर लें अच्छे से पढ़कर आए उसमें उनका क्या फायदा है फायदा तो हमारा है मार्क्स तो हमें मिलेंगे पर फिर भी बेचारे यू नो इट्स अ थैंकलेस जॉब उनको हेटरेट मिल जाती है और जबकि वो हमारा ही वेल्डिंग देख रहे हैं है ना सो वॉज आई एबल टू आंसर क्वेश्चन मोनिशा बाय दो and you can say yes. more also no it actually answers the question uh, that's great i hope that you have written down the steps also the five steps yes one you know isi se mujhe dhyan aaya hai monisha uh, i'm sure uh, in case if you have any question you can ask me otherwise there is uh, one situation that's coming to my mind there was one uh, there was there were parents who approached me Uh, because of their ch- uh, child ki their child is very sensitive or uh, she cries a lot on little little things she she's she's not confident while speaking etc etc and she want they wanted me to uh, counsel her and, me- and mentor her for uh, uh, for personality development this is what they wanted me to do and you know monisha and everyone who has joined us and who know me कि मैं स्टूडेंट्स के साथ नहीं कभी भी काम करती हूँ कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स के साथ भी मैं काम नहीं करती हूँ जनरली आई ओनली वर्क विद अडल्ट जो प्रोफेशनल्स हैं जो इस्टेब्लिश है अपने करियर में बट देन दीज पेरेंट्स वर सो इंटरेस्टेड कि मैं ही उनकी बेटी के साथ यू नो मैंटोरिंग करूँ दैट आई टूक अप दैट असाइनमेंट एंड ड्यूरिंग माई फर्स्ट फोर सेशन ड्यूरिंग माई फर्स्ट फोर सेशन What I realized was कि जो इशू है पर्सनैलिटी डेवलपमेंट का या पर्सनल डेवलपमेंट का दैट इशू इज वेरी मच रिलेटेड टू हाउ शी इज बींग ट्रीटेड इन हर स्कूल तो इतने सारे इंस्टेंसेस थे मोनिशा एंड एवरी वन हु इज लिस्निंग टू मी राइट नाउ जहां पर टीचर्स वर बायस्ड टूवर्ड्स हर जस्ट बिकॉज वो स्लो बोलती है उसकी आवाज धीरे थी Uh, she was not that audible just because ki she has a fluency over english so did she gets mocked in hindi pe- period so and this is not at all expected out of teachers and jiski wajah se she used to feel humiliated and insulted in the class because teachers were mocking her ki are dekho ye kaise bol rahi hai are dekho ye kaise bolegi they are saying it like this so obviously other students will start mocking her as well and which was happening there were so many students who were bullying her so i actually sat with her for so many sessions and together we created some eloquent processes to take care of each and every mocking that was happening to her so what i taught her what she gained out of the, these mentoring sessions were ki aapko ulta jawab nahi dena hai agar aapko koi mock kar raha hai to aapko us mock का आंसर नहीं करना है आपको उनको पलट के कुछ नहीं बोलना है बट यू हैव टू कीप ऑन वर्किंग ऑन योर ओन सेल्फ सो दैट कि व्हाट यू आर डूइंग अदर पीपल स्टार्ट चेंजिंग देयर एटीट्यूड टू वर्ड्स यू राइट Hi, am I audible now? I think there was some network issue in between. Ah, uh, are you Sachin, Sab, Sabia? Are you able to hear me? Sachin, I'm. Am I audible to you? No. Okay. Okay. all please allow me 2 minutes i think there is some network issue welcome mukesh thank you for joining in so good to see you uh, am i audible by the way mukesh sachin are you able to hear me okay 
Okay. So I think that maybe my video is not uh, visible, but my voice is audible. Um, so I was just proceeding with this thing that we have to work on those processes, even if your teachers are difficult on you, even if your um, your your peers, not colleagues, up school may not be peers of it. Even if your uh, class fellows, peers are harsh on you, आपको उन्हें पलट के जवाब नहीं देना है. आपको सिर्फ इस तरीके के टेक्निक को फॉलो करना है जहां पे यू आर एलोकमेंट टूवर्ड्स देम बट यू आर नॉट रूड और सार्कैस्टिक टूवर्ड्स देम एंड व्हेन यू डू दिस देयर बिहेवियर स्टार्ट्स टू चेंज एंड दैट गर्ल इज एन एग्जांपल दैट गर्ल इज अ केस स्टडी फॉर मी जहां पे शी फॉलोड दैट प्रोसेस व्हिच आई वाज टीचिंग हर एंड टू एंड इन टोटलिटी एंड विद इन 3 मंथ्स विद इन 3 मंथ्स her teachers started saying in front of whole class that she is my favorite student you know from the time when she was being mocked thank you sachin for saying this uh, i'm so glad that i'm audible from the time she was mocked and in 3 months to the time when her teachers started saying that she is my favorite student in the class she is the one who always does everything she is the one who is intelligent oh she will answer it because she is intelligent she does everything i love her you know in this time there was a huge and there was a difficult journey that she did but she did it so my point is that i don't know uh, whom you are sharing your issues with but do share your issues with your parents agar aap kuch face kar rahe hain apne school mein apne teachers ke sath kyunki teachers galat nahi hai ho sakta unka tarika thoda inappropriate ho but teachers ki intention galat nahi hoti kabhi bhi मेजोरिटी ऑफ टाइम राइट इट जस्ट दैट कि हमको ही अपना कुछ तरीका वी हैव टू चेंज अवर वेज इन अ वे सो दैट वी गेट वट वी वॉन्ट फ्रॉम अवर टीचर्स इफ वी वॉन्ट अप्रिसिएशन रिस्पेक्ट डिग्निटी वी विल गेट दैट सो दिस इज वॉट आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एनी वन यू नो रिलेटेड टू एनी ऑफ द सिचुएशन दैट यू आर फेसिंग maybe with your students if you are a teacher maybe with your uh, teacher if you are a student please feel free to share i think there was for some network issue because of which uh, we are not able to hear and see monisha otherwise she could have asked us various questions so that's okay we have mukesh we have sachin if you have any questions please feel free to ask Am I audible? Yes. Now you are audible. I'm audible. I'm so happy. I'm able to hear you, but still your video is not visible. But I'm able to hear you. Um, it, it's okay, Monisha. Uh, you can ask me questions uh, because you're audible to me. Okay. Uh, I just had those two questions with me because I think okay. that uh, these are the only things that we have right now. My questions are finished. This time, uh, you had a little to answer. Okay, sure. Thank you. So I feel that these are the questions. I'm keeping in mind the network issue that's going on. I think that I must start sharing the antidotes for students that they can uh, follow. so that they can get all the love and respect from their teachers and after that i will also share the antidotes for teachers that they can follow to get all the love respect from their students so what do you think what do you say monisha should i begin with the student antidotes or teacher antidotes um i think with students one student one okay so here we go i have written it down you know and you all everyone who is watching this recording or who will watch watch this recording after it gets uploaded please have your pen and paper handy or your notepad and pen handy so that you can write these down so from students point of view to get all the love and respect and appreciation from your teachers there are seven there are seven things that you all have to do i've written it down and i'm going to read it out to you the very first thing is show respect to your teachers i understand that you all respect your teachers but sometimes we do not show it so please show respect to your teachers 
the second antidote is show interest in learning. Whatever your teacher is teaching you, or whatever your teachers are teaching you, please show interest that you are learning. Hi, dear Kiran. Good evening. Thank you for joining in. A very warm welcome. So the very first antidote from students' point of view is show respect to your teachers. Second antidote is show interest in learning. Third antidote is attend every class. Please don't become irregular. Attend every class. That's very important. Fourth antidote is help your teachers. You know, there are so many things that your teachers have to do apart from checking papers. Apart from checking papers, please help them in other things also. Like, you know, picking up the notebooks or the copies or taking some notebooks to staff home, etc. So you can do that. Then ask for their guidance. Right? Uh, as we discussed in the previous processes also, we talked about two questions in processes. Ki bhi tha ki you, can, uh, you have to ask guidance from your teachers. So ask for their guidance always. Whenever you feel that you are stuck, ask for their guidance. Then speak eloquently while asking questions. And you all know what eloquent means. There is a five-step process that we sh I shared with you also earlier in this slide only. So please speak eloquently while, while asking your queries. And seventh is communicate your views with respect. I repeat, the seventh antidote for student is communicate your views with respect. Monisha said that if you have to tell your teacher that you have homework, then how do you communicate it? communicate it? We did that, right? We, we saw it in the, in the process. So communicate your views with respect. That's very important. So uh, is it clear, Monisha? Was I audible, by the way? Yes, you are audible. OK. And am I visible also, by any chance? Because I don't know how this phone is working. The video is not that clear, but uh, the more we can, hear, we are able to hear you. Okay, that's great. So these were the students' antidotes. Now I am going to share the antidotes for teachers. The very first thing for teachers is please do not judge. I do understand we have to handle as a teacher. We have to handle so many students in the class, maybe more than twenty, more than thirty at times. And every student is a different student. They are coming from different backgrounds, different cultures. Their behaviors are different, and sometimes they are tough behaviors. But still, by but still, with all the love, I would like to say, please do not judge. Do not judge at all. The second antidote is please be encouraging. I remember my mom always used to tell me that if you can't say something good, then you have to be quiet. If you want to say something good, then you have to be quiet. This is what my mom used to teach me when I was small. And I, I think that I follow this a lot at times. Yes, sometimes I fail also in this, but I make sure that I follow it all the, most of the time. So I request you, the teachers, that please be encouraging to your students. Third antidote is please be eloquent to even to give even the toughest of the feedback. Give the toughest feedback if required. Do not hide it. Don't ignore it. But please be eloquent to share even the toughest of the feedback. Aapko dana hai ya aapko sirf eloquent hona hai. Or I'm sure aapko pata hoga eloquent kaise hona hai. Agar nahi pata hai, so you can contact my team. We have so many programs. We will help you with that. Then comes the fourth antidote which says but address it eloquently. Again, eloquence plays a major role. That please do not ignore any negative trait. Address it there and then. Okay, address it there and then. But eloquently. This is the fourth antidote. Fifth one says that please use participative ways to teach your subjects. You can use andragogy, you can use uh, storytelling, you can use any engagement ways of learning things. Do whatever you want to do, but please make it engaging, right? 
then um the sixth antidote is please listen to your students and try to know both side of the stories kai bari bachche aisa shikayat leke aa jate hain to aap suno us shikayat ko bhi suno usko hashash mat karo par ab us shikayat mein involved jo dusra bachcha hai uski bhi story suno and then come to a mutual conclusion that to in encouraging way scolding way mein nahi uh, humiliating way mein nahi that's a, that is totally a no no do not humiliate at all and seventh antidote is that please never mock any student that's very important never ever mock any student because you never know what you are going to you know create in their heads aur baad mein aapko bhi bahut dukh hoga because i know that as a teacher you are not a bad human being it just that sometimes emotions or irritation takes over we just have to handle that emotion that irritation by still remaining eloquent empowering encouraging to them so these are the seven antidotes that i wanted to share with you from teachers point of view and uh, the seven that i shared from the students point of view so what are your thoughts and queries that you would like to share kiran sachin mukesh sabia prithvi what is it that you would like to share please feel free to ask share or answer because you know while it is teachers and you the same thing is equally applicable for trainers also so in case if you are a trainer then trainers and you as a trainer these are the antidotes for you and if you are a student to some trainer then those are the antidotes for you right so this is how it works for us so what are your thoughts and questions around it and monisha i am so happy i am able to see you moving you were frozen on my screen i think i was frozen on your screen <laughs> i am also able to see you and it's not you know, the video is not uh, paused okay so so uh, kiran sachin sabia prithvi mukesh anything that you would like to ask or share or say please feel free and while you all may be thinking of sharing something i would like to tell you that the next live that we are going to cover on coming saturday 9 pm is all about friends and you you know friends also play a very vital role in our life bahut sare friends ke uh, perspective ke according ya bahut sare friends ke kehne ke according hum apni life bana lete hain so we also have to understand where we have to draw the line till what uh, extent we have to have that uh friendship etc and also remember you know whether you are a student whether you are a college student whether you are a professional confidence and speaking skills play a major role in your life aap aap housewife ya house husband bhi banoge na agar even if you are not doing anything you are just uh, and you know i'm so sorry to say this that you are not doing anything because i know housewives kitna kaam karti hain all i want to say is that with all the respect to every profession with all the respect to the homemakers also agar aap koi profession join nahi bhi karte ho aap apne ghar ko hi sambhalne ka kaam karte ho to us case mein bhi eloquence aur confidence ye dono cheeze aapke jo rutbe ko elevate karti rahengi so you need to know the ways and techniques to become confident you deserve to know the ways and methods to have a wonderful speaking skills in you that is required aur usko update karte rehna hai so please uh, do think over it please do ensure ki aapka confidence kabhi bhi over confidence nahi banna chahiye arrogance kabhi nahi hona chahiye please ensure ki aapka confidence jo hai wo aap वो मीक भी नहीं होना चाहिए इट हैज टू बी दी अप्रोप्रिएट कॉन्फिडेंस कॉन्फिडेंस थिंग इन यू गुड इवनिंग भारती थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन सो गुड टू सी यू एंड हैविंग सेट दिस आपकी स्पीकिंग स्किल्स भी बहुत इंपैक्टफुल होने चाहिए आपकी बात में वजन होना चाहिए बात में वजन का मतलब है इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि बात को बहुत सारा खाना खिला दो आपकी बात में वजन होना चाहिए का मतलब कि आपका जो बोलने का तरीका है इवन इफ यू आर से नमस्ते वो आप नमस्ते भी ऐसे बोल रहे हो कि उसमें एक ठहराव है उसमें एक इम्पैक्ट है राइट सो ये स्पीकिंग स्किल्स का पार्ट होता है राइट सो दिस इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट हाई भारती 
so what i would like to say is that uh, recently personal mastery is has started a program uh, on confidence building and public speaking skills which is basically for professionals uh, which is basically for people jo actually me speaking skills or confidence ko uplift karna chahte hain if you feel like you would like to do that do not hesitate to get in touch with team of personal mastery they will definitely guide you towards the best possible thing for you but whatever it is whether you contact us uh, the the thing that i would like to share is that you need to work on the ways methods tools techniques processes that make you confident and that make you eloquent eloquence is the key you know it's much superior than your artificial intelligence also we are the one who are super intelligent so please use that intelligence using the eloquence that's very important i think i i've spoken a lot uh, now if anyone else would like to speak i would like to give the stage to them yes monisha it was really a wonderful session like i really enjoyed it and i think the way you have explained uh, i will like if it it has cleared my doubt and i hope i explain in the same way to my friends as well and uh, i will uh, definitely let you know that when they that when my friends work on these uh, processes and when they get, get the, those achievement uh, i will tell you and um, the next session that you talk uh, told uh, told to us about that friends and you uh, i will really jo join that session and i have some points also as from the school Uh, from my school only i got the opportunity to attend a program which was organized by uh, cbse basically uh, the peer education so i will be also able to uh, tell some points and uh, how to handle some situations or how to avoid the situations when uh, someone is bullying you or something and to get them also on a right track so i have some points and i have some uh, like i know it's also so i will be sharing a more in the next session please do that your your presence will be highly valuable to all of us monisha and uh, yes i would like to say that uh, i remember that you got selected for that counseling peer counseling uh, initiative uh, started by cbsc and the government uh, i'm very proud of you for that and uh, i'm also very happy with the fact that you have recently been selected as a head girl of your school so congratulations for that also and i i why i'm sharing this on the public platform not to uh, praise my daughter i'm sharing this on public platform is because i want to tell everyone that if you can instill confidence and eloquence in your child they are going to achieve higher heights not only at home in home but in school as well the school will recognize it later on the office will recognize it on the business will recognize it later on the relatives or in laws will recognize it so it, it is going to get recognized so please uh in where can your children uh, spend some time with them and feel that confidence in them and feel that speaking skills and eloquence in them and in case wherever you need support in doing that remember personal mastery is always with you for this so uh with this i would again like to congratulate monitor for that and i hope that every parent who uh, who will watch this i hope all the blessings for their children as well i wish they achieve whatever they want to achieve in their life thank thank you so much yeah. pleasure so do we have any other questions from audiences bharti sachin kiran mukesh prithvi sabia do we have any questions feel free to ask and if not then we can call it a night it's a saturday night tomorrow is a holiday hello preeti babi thank you for joining in so good to see you once again so no questions shall we call it a night anything that you want me to repeat i hope that you you all have made a note of the antidotes that i have shared with you from the students perspective i'll repeat it once again because we still have 10 minutes to go i'm repeating it uh, antidotes from students perspective show respect to your teachers show interest in the studies attend classes regularly help your teachers ask for their guidance 
speak eloquently while you are asking any questions communicate your views with respect to your teachers now the antidotes from teachers point of view please do not judge please be encouraging please be eloquent to go, to give even the toughest of the feedback to your students please do not ignore any negative trait um in fact address it there and then eloquently huh? eloquence is the key please use participative ways to teach either use andragogy storytelling uh, any fun activity to derive the point but make it very participative please listen to your students and if there is a complaint from one student do not shoo away that student listen to that complaint but don't take your decision by listening to the one person's complaint also listen to the other side of the story and then come to a conclusion that has to be full of empowerment not of humiliation at all and last but never the least please never mock any student full stop okay so these are the antidotes these are applicable for teachers these are applicable for trainers also if there are any if there are any trainers who are watching this video then these antidotes are also for you that's it from my end so what do you think shall we call it a night what do you say monisha i think yes okay So let's call it a night. Uh, I wish you all a good night. Have a sound sleep, and I wish you a happy weekend and a very resourceful and fruitful week coming ahead. Lots of love, and see you next Saturday, nine p.m. with the topic friends, friends and you. Absolutely. Okay. So please take care. Bye bye, and come back soon on Saturday, nine p.m. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone.